Okay then peeps, so just a quick one about the Asus overclock socket. Essentially, on a couple of the boards, you can see that they've got this exclusive Asus overclock socket thing. And when we zoom in and it focuses, it says the extra pins are specifically engineered to provide the ultimate performance of stable voltage for your CPU, maximum bandwidth for your CPU and DDR4 memory, more extreme performance than ever before. And it's like, well, you know, what? What's it doing? And I, I've got the X99 Deluxe and the Rampage 5 Extreme, and they both feature it. You can see it's got the overclock socket there. Well, essentially, when I was away in London, I said to Asus, I need to be able to show this on video. So I have two naked sockets. And I think this is probably the easiest way for me to be able to try and explain to you what the difference is. Because it, it does all sound a bit confusing, like how can they add more pins? And it's a little bit crackers. But when we spin it over and we get to see that side, essentially what you can see is there is a distinct difference between the two. This is the stock Intel socket and this is the Asus overclock socket. Now, they were so um, hush hush about this. This was the reason why they are the only ones that have not leaked their any of their kit and any of their information. But if you have a look, you can see around the outside, down the side, and up the top on this one, there are uh, blocks missing. And this is just a standard Intel socket. On this side, you can see the Asus one. There's only just a few pins really missing. So. Basically what it was is they, they asked Intel, uh, what do these missing pins do? And Intel turned around to Asus and went, doesn't matter, that's our socket, that's the one that we're using. So Asus then went, okay, and they reversed engineered it, they worked out what the pins are for, they worked out how to better utilize those, and then they brought us the overclock socket. Now I do wonder if this was Intel sandbagging. And it does make me wonder whether the, all of the rest of the pins would have been added for an upgrade at a later date, like a refresh. Like we've just gone from Z87 to Z97, there wasn't a lot of difference. Could this have been a refresh later on that Asus have essentially just brought us early? Now only time's gonna tell with this. Asus do have a patent for six months. After six months, you may see the other mother motherboard manufacturers start to copy it. Only time is gonna tell with that as well. But like I said, when you see them like that, it's very easy for me to be able to describe and show you. But if we'd have had two motherboards side by side, there's not a great deal there that you can particularly see. So there you go, peeps. That's what the Asus uh, overclock socket is all about in a nice, quick and simple rush kit video.